in uh, this video I'm going to talk uh, about uh, eigenvalues and eigenvectors uh, and let's jump into an introduction for eigenvalue and eigenvectors okay so first of all I want to highlight the um, that in this chapter whenever or whenever in this presentation whenever we are going to talk about uh, number whenever we uh, refer this word which means number this means it refers to a real or complex number okay so this is something that we should like have a um, uh, convention on that we are talking about real or complex number even that I'm going to talk about real numbers in most times but anyway this is applies well for real and complex numbers okay now let's go and start with letting a be an n by n matrix of uh, numbers okay so it is a matrix we have a matrix that we are going to call it a and it has like numbers uh, uh, that contains numbers this matrix there is a number lambda we call it lambda is an eigenvalue of the matrix a if there is a non-zero n by one matrix n by one matrix means that it's a vector e such that okay so we are talking about a specific case where that we are going to have this condition what this condition is telling us that the matrix a is going to be multiplied by this vector e and all of a sudden we are going to find the right hand side equals to some number here called lambda and the same vector is going to be in the right hand side again it's like magic so we are going to say that matrix multiplied by a vector by a vector and then the outcome of this is going to be lambda or a number that is multiplied by the same vector this is the same vector this is what we are talking about this is what eigenvalue and eigenvector is all about so we are going to call this vector we are going to call this vector e we are going to call it eigenvector which is this eigenvector is associated with this eigenvalue so associated with eigenvalue lambda so e the eigenvector is associated with the eigenvalue lambda okay okay now we may think of n by one matrix of numbers as n vectors that's right because we can say that this is a vector this is another vector and this is another vector and so on right with real and or complex components as we've said and mentioned before if we consider a as a linear transformation mapping um, n n vector x to n n vector a times x then this equation which is the equation of the eigenvector and eigenvalue holds when a moves e to a parallel vector lambda or lambda e okay so this is the meaning of the transformation linear transformation whenever we have a vector in this direction okay for example then the significance of eigenvector eigenvalue is that we're going to scaling this vector to be like this in the same direction okay so this is why as if that we are making a transformation and this transformation is going to be done by using this matrix a okay but the scaling is going to be by the lambda okay so this is actually it has a significance or a physical sig significance maybe I'm going to uh, uh, upload some videos that is going to help you understanding the meaning of eigenvalue and eigenvectors and the transformation and linear transformation in particular okay so don't worry about this point the significance of this point from the physical point of view we can understand it but the point is the mathematical point of view we need to make it very solid and understandable okay so now let's go to the next part which is if we have c which is a non-zero number and we have this equation which is equation 9.1 then we're going to find something that is very interesting that um, a times this non-zero number times the same vector e 
equals to C times A times E equals to C times lambda times E equals to lambda times CE. What is the meaning of this? Exactly. C times E, it is as here, as if here. It is E, right? Because we started as if that we are starting with A times E, but instead of A times E, we multiplied a non-zero number here. And we ended up with that this non-zero number is going to be multiples of the eigenvector times lambda times the eigenvalue. Okay, let, let me clear everything here. So what is the meaning of this? This means that non-zero constant multiples of eigenvectors, this is the meaning of non-zero constant multiples of the eigenvector, are eigenvectors, are eigenvectors with the same eigenvalue. Eigenvalue is the same here. We didn't change anything. It is the same. Okay? Okay. So I hope that this is simple and super easy, I know, but we are going to apply it and we see, we're going to see that it's important for us. Okay. Now let's go to the next. Let's have some examples as usual and we are going to understand more about what we have uh, explained. So let's assume that we have A equals to 1, 0, 0, 0. And then we are going to, out of nowhere, we are going to put this vector here. Okay? It seems as if it is a magic, as if it's magic, but actually it is not. It is everything we know about it. But anyway, assume that you are brought this or already you, you've been, there is some, someone brought this kind of vector to you. So we are going to find that 1, 0, 0, 1, which is matrix A, multiplied by 0, 4, vector, it gives us what? As you are going to multiply it, exactly zero, zero, Victor. Can we put this zero, zero in a different way? Is it possible to say that it is zero times zero uh, times a vector of zero and four? Why the zero and four? Because we want to to repeat this vector again. We want it actually to be like this, as if e times e, a times e equals to lambda a number that is multiplied by the same vector. So here E and here E. This is the same. Here the same E. Okay. So now then this zero is an eigenvalue of A of A with eigenvector associated eigenvector E equal to zero and four. For any non-zero number alpha, we can put it for any non-zero number alpha, right? So this four we can multiply it by anything here and it is going to be okay for us still it is going to be an eigenvector also so we put here alpha so for any non-zero number alpha this vector is else is also an eigenvector it is another eigenvector we can multiply any any number here it works well it is going to be a eigenvector an eigenvector zero can be an eigenvalue but an eigenvector must be a non-zero vector at least uh, one non-zero component. That's right. So lambda, it, it could be, it can be zero. It's okay. But whenever we are talking about E, we cannot say that this is, for example, like an eigenvector. No. Zero can be an eigenvalue, but eigenvector must be a non-zero vector. At least one non-zero component. At least we have here one, for example, here. Okay? At least. So this works well for us. Okay. Now let's go to the next example. Let's assume that we have A with this numbers. A minus 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, minus 1. Okay. Now we are going to, out of nowhere again, we are going to multiply A by this vector, 6, 0, 0. Can you multiply it and you are going to find that it is going to give you this 6, 0, 0. This means that as if there is one value here, six zero zero okay this value is going to be exactly this is the eigenvalue this is our lambda okay this is our lambda okay so that's the issue here therefore one is an eigenvalue with eigenvector six zero zero okay so that's the point regarding eigenvalue and eigenvector till now okay or we can say any non-zero constant times this matrix okay so we can say, similarly, if we say A, the matrix that we have had here, okay, this is A, okay, t 
times this vector, which is 1, 2, minus 4, equals to, we are going to find it equals to, minus 1, minus 2, and 4. So they are similar, a little bit similar. If we get this minus 1 as a common factor here, we're going to find that we have 1, 2, minus 4, which is 1, 2, minus 4, which is the same vector here. Okay, so this is considered to be our eigen vector and this is going to be our lambda okay so therefore minus 1 is an eigenvalue with eigenvector 1 2 minus 4 or or any non-zero multiple of this vector any multiples of this vector is going to work for us as a as an eigenvector okay okay I hope that you have understood up till now these two examples and the introduction of eigenvalue and eigenvectors and the next time I'm going to talk about the finding all the eigenvalues of a matrix. Okay, thank you. See you in the next video.